Sabaha everybody and welcome to Future Tech. This is episode one of Future Tech, a new series on the channel. And I wanna be able to share with you guys future technologies that are gonna be coming out to the stores in the near future. So essentially uh, crowdfunding type of uh, products that you can check out. Um, I happen to have three products that are currently either on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. And I'm gonna of course share with you guys my thoughts about them. And the cool thing about them is that we get a chance to experience them before you make a decision. So are they good? Are they bad? Will they work for you? This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out these three cool products that you can't buy at the store yet, but we can definitely back them up today if you're interested. Let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos like this on the channel, specifically Future Tech. What I have in front of us is three different items. We have the Zenger Passport 2 Plus. This is a travel adapter that has a built-in gang charger up to 61 watts, and we'll talk about some of the features there. Of course, we have the Cellpick. This is a printer pen style of an experience that you can actually print on almost any surface with built-in options for different cartridges that you can use. And last but not least is the Moft Sleeve. This is Something that I've covered from them in the past uh, over here on the channel, but today we're talking about a sleeve that doubles as a laptop stand. So these are a lot of cool things that are gonna be coming out to the market in the near future, but let's go ahead and start and taking a look at some of those cool features now. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the Celpic. Now the Celpic essentially is a portable printer. So this is actually a printer. So you notice there's a power button here, USB-C port to charge. On the back, we have an initiation button and of course a printer. Removing the cap on the bottom actually shows the ink cartridge uh, placement in here. So you're sitting there, there's a roller here to be able to align it to roll it exactly where you need. Uh, the, the button here allows us to remove the ink cartridge. They have different colors this one is the black one that they sent me and of course this comes with the standard kit so the kit itself by default comes with this and of course you are able to connect to this and when you're not using it it's magnetically covered so you're using it this way um, in the box itself pretty much all we have this is just a cartridge holder um, some documentation and a usb type a to usb, usb type c cable to be able to charge the our device as again it charges via usb type c from almost any source so where this becomes really functional is when we connect it to our phone now this there is an application that you need to download directly from the google play store and again it's called Celpic. same name as the company you download it and you're able to interface directly with the actual unit currently only works with 2.4 gigahertz network since it connects over wi-fi we can see that there's a connection Wi-Fi signal there and of course we have the different options of what we can do uh, what I did here essentially is I'm showing you guys that it actually works in multiple uh, functions a you can import images into it so that's an image that I took uh, it's a standard color picture that I took with the camera on the s20 ultra and I just converted it into an outline I also put in some Arabic text as well as English text to show that it also works with multiple languages but the cool thing about it is the way it prints uh, you're able to import images here you have different icons in here different shapes the bears um, a whole bunch of different things but let's not waste any time let's go ahead and see how this works so I'll go ahead and put the actual image there the pen is already turned on and I've already connected it to my phone all I have to do here is just hit this little button where it says print it looks like a little print icon and it's essentially using Wi-Fi connection over my 2.4 gigahertz network to the actual Celpic and all I have to do essentially is put it down on the surface press the button and then slide it sideways so here push the button slide and you can see right there, it actually prints exactly the way it is. It doesn't matter what language, what it's printing. It's no different than when you're using a standard printer. And you can actually see the picture of myself, my wife, and my son sitting there at the beach. So essentially family day at the beach and exactly you know, what I wrote in Arabic is And you can print it as many times as you'd like. And of course, change different icons, different shapes. The moment you basically want to print, you push the button. You'll notice right there, it's ready. I push the button, it starts flickering, and I can actually put it on any surface and it prints right away. So here we have it. This is the back of a shirt. I'll go ahead and press the button and I'll just go swipe. Again, very simple, very easy, and very, very quick. And as you can see, it is very legible and it dries right away. There's no smudging, no issues. The Celpic itself is currently selling for 50% off, about $99 directly on Indiegogo. I'll give you guys a link to that in the description below. This will work with Android, iOS, Apple, or even Windows PCs. And it has up to eight different color in cartridges that you're able to purchase. Again, very simple, very easy to use, very easy to install, charges over USB-C, and again, portable take with you whenever you want and print whatever you want straight directly from the app either images text in any language that you like now the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is the passport 2 plus now this one is available on kickstarter so it's not indiegogo and it comes in two different colors there's the white one and the dark one now we've all seen travel adapters where you're able to basically slide out uh, a specific option so this is going to be basically you know for us style chargers and there are certain countries that actually can you know change the angle of the actual uh, connectors even though they're similar and this one actually will work also in china because i think uh, it doesn't have two sizes for the prong connector so it'll work with us or china 
you don't want this, you want UK style, you can pop up UK. You want a European style, you can bring out the European style. This should be able to work anywhere you want. And the really cool thing about this, it's not just a travel adapter, but it also has a gang power bank or basically a charger that's built into this that supports up to 61 watts of power over PD. And that means we can actually use this to power our laptops that use USB-C PD charging. And of course, you know, Chromebook or even Apple uh, laptops, 61 watts will definitely cover everything that you need. On top of the fact that you can also charge up to three additional items here on USB type A and another USB type C that's present sitting on the bottom. Only difference here is that the USB C here and the USB type A are all 2.4 amps on the bottom and here up to 61 watts. But the main beautiful thing is it's, this is a travel one. So you can take it with you. You never have to worry about bringing multiple charges with you. You can charge your smartphones from here, your tablet, as well as your PC. And at the same time, being able to use this in any certain situation that you want without having to worry about, did I bring the right plug with me? Do I have the right adapter? Now, my overall experience here is definitely very nice. I use this overall because I tend to get devices all around the world and specifically devices that don't use US plugs. So how do I use this in my, in my home here in the US when I don't have it? Very simple. Pop up the US plug on the back, bring in the UK charger here on the side, bring it in. And now I can actually use this Oppo charger that came with my device without having to worry about it, without having to even sweat about it. Very easy, very simple. And at the same time, I can still charge my phone. So I can also use this with my Galaxy S20 Ultra. So this provides a 61 watt uh, capability, which means the 45 watt capability maximum charging speed that I get with the S20 Ultra is compatible here since that uses PD. So really nice. Anything that uses PD up to 61 watt will charge at the fastest possible connection here. And of course, if you need somewhat of a slower connection at 2.4 amps, you have up to four additional ones. So we can charge up to one, two, three, four, five, Five devices via USB type style connectors and of course the last one will be here which is main cup set six so six different things out of one charger and again as I'm showing you guys right now very nice very portable I use it with my travel chargers at the same time as charging my laptop so the last thing we have here is the moth sleeve uh, moth is a company that's been making laptop stands for some time even actually uh, mobile device stands that are very thin that we generally have on the back of devices so I've shown you guys different videos here on the channel today they have something very new it's called the moth sleeve that works as a sleeve the way you see it right you see it right there I have my laptop in here this is a MacBook Pro 15.6 inch and I don't know if you guys can see it very easily but I have the charger here I have the USB-C cable as well as my mouse sitting in the same sleeve all together organized so why is this special? It's because what can you do with this and how much things can you carry with it? So first and foremost, as I showed you guys, I have my stuff in here um, at the top. If I switch it over and I open it up, of course, you can actually see my laptop is sitting right there. Uh, there is a little opening right there that you can see the different accessories that I have right there. And last but not least, I also have the ability of basically putting in my business card. So let's go ahead and start showing exactly what this does. The beautiful thing about it is that pocket that we have on the top is from the inside, meaning nothing will spill out. You can open it up from the inside and take out the charger the cable as well as the mouse and of course the laptop itself they have two different sizes that i have here there's the 13.3 and the 16 inch and it'll open up and actually fit your laptop very nicely uh, to be able to activate or use the folding here is those are the little areas that you have at the top part of the sleeve where you're able to fold them up in two different positions to open up the laptop. So you can see there with the first position that I had in there. And then, of course, if you open it up with the other side, you're able to open it up even bigger. And it works the exact same way if you're using it with the bigger size or the smaller size. Uh, even if you don't have things inside of the main pocket, everything will look exactly the same. And what I really like about it is it is actually ruggedized and it will hold your laptop, even if your laptop is a little bit on the heavier side. So very nice, very clean. And when you're not using your laptop or you don't want to use it, you can put it back in the sleeve and it's easy to carry, very organized. And it works really good, specifically with MacBooks, obviously thinner laptops. I did try to use it with my uh, gaming laptop, my uh, MSI laptop, and unfortunately that one did not fit. But gaming laptops in general are much thicker and generally we do not want to basically. You know. But gaming laptops, sadly, in general are uh, sorry. But gaming laptops in general are usually thicker and that's one of the things that you want to keep in mind. It doesn't always work that same way. Now, the Moth sleeve as well as the Celpic are both available on Indiegogo and the Passport 2 is available over on Kickstarter. They used to be on Indiegogo, but they transferred over. Uh, the Passport 2 as well as the Moth sleeves are about 44, 45 bucks independently on their own sites. And the Celpic is running about 50% off right now. You're able to pick it up for $99. 
Uh, the cool thing about the actual moth sleeve is that it's a functional carrying uh, container to use, you know, to put your laptop in there, your charging cables, your power brick, all of the stuff that you normally want. And when you get to your destination, you're able to take all of that stuff out and use the container, the actual sleeve itself, as an actual stand in two different positions for your laptop. And it actually should be able to handle any laptop that fits into it very, very nicely. The only exception is gaming laptops that tend to be a little bit thicker. But again, as you saw with the demo that I did, I, I did that directly with uh, my Pixel book go as well as my MacBook Pro so it works really nice now rounding that off obviously going with the passport 2 the passport 2 is really functional because I can use that one charger to charge my laptop my smartphone my watch everything that I have with me up to six different things at the same time even if I have to use it with an international plug which is something that is very unique at least in my situation I sometimes get devices with a UK charger sometimes I get it with an EU charger and I don't want to keep fumbling around with the charger as far as the brick I can use the same charger to use the power brick that comes with it charge up and use my smartphone or I can use the USB Type-C connector that we have here. The 61 watt does work with my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, as well as my other devices that use power delivery chargers to charge them at the maximum possible rate without having to buy an additional one. And again, it's 44 bucks. It's cheaper than buying just the actual adapter that Samsung sells for the S20 Ultra. Really, really cool. Again, some information about, about that in the description below. The Celpic itself, I find that it's a very functional uh, option to use whenever you want to be able to print things or customize things. It prints very easily and very quickly. You can customize it to whatever you want, pictures, text, uh, emojis, whatever. And as long as you're able to put it on that timeline, it will print it. They have eight different colors that are available for you, but those are separate. So the starter kit only includes the black one, which is the one that I shared with you guys. And I feel like the additional colors are also going to be really good. More information of all of the future tech that I talk about today in episode one will be in the description below. And I want to say thank you to all of the companies for sending me out these cool things. And as I get more things that are going to be on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or crowdfunding experiences, I'll definitely be putting out more future tech episodes. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe and share that with all your friends to make sure that they're aware and they can see all of the cool new things coming in in the future on future tech. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. and I'll see you guys in the next episode.